Well, the time will come when I would definitely have to choose uh, between one or the other. But at the moment, uh, the Lime Pelican, uh, I am the main organizer of the footballing aspect of the business. And really and truly, at this time, I could not just uh, abandon the organization. But the time will come when, surely, uh, I will have to choose like, either one or the other if uh, both are to develop the way that we envision will happen. In the There's a matter of governance. Um, I think that the BFA administratively will have to um, try and run the organization like any other um, registered business. Uh, we need to do things like incorporating the association and uh, obviously in this time we need to have a professional league playing in Barbados because the time has come where amateur players just cannot compete with players who are earning a living from the game of football. Really it's about ensuring that children and, and coaches get the development they require so that Caribbean football can move forwards. Mm -hmm. um, now, we are, we are only one of the parties, many parties involved in this development plan. So the fact that Chelsea are tied into this wonderful relationship doesn't mean that, that, that we are the be-all and end-all. These guys have put so much work in and uh, they're continually battling to, to develop football in the Caribbean region. And with us involved, uh, we just want to drive it and take it as far as we can possibly take it. It's really important for us as Chelsea is to leave a legacy in the Caribbean that is not only instilling the knowledge in the players and making sure that their, their tactical and, and technical, um, sorry, technical um, aspects are improved, but also the coaches, they get a chance to watch our coaches work. We're going to put on a workshop for their coaches and then guide them through sessions so they can take back the knowledge they've learned uh, to their respective countries. I think um, it actually speaks for itself. I think uh, in this very competitive environment, uh, this is what every destination is looking for and we are very um, I'll be pleased, privileged and uh, happy to be associated with uh, brands such as Chelsea and Digicel. Um, it can only all go well for the development and promotion of sports tourism. And what about the um, relationship between the Chelsea and the BTA going forward? Um, it was mentioned that you have an extended camp as well. Well, yes, we are going to have um, an extended camp uh, next week, and I think uh, back in uh, January, or going forward in January, will be phase three. Um, I think, again, it offers uh, opportunity for our youth, uh, for them to raise the standard of their game, also for the country as a whole. Uh, the Barbados Football Association to benefit from the skills of these very experienced and, uh, coaches and um, I think again it can only all go well for the development of football going forward. Hopefully, um, I think in the relationship we would want to see maybe Chelsea coming down to the Caribbean and uh, participating in some sort of exhibition game but all of these um, sort of activities um, we hope to extract from the relationship. But Digicel is actually very proud to be associated with the Chelsea um, Club um, and the Barbados Tourism Authority, the Barbados Football Association, in developing this three-year plan for the young um, kickstart, young Barbadian and Caribbean people um, who come here for this week-long um, kickstart clinic. Uh, we are very proud to be associated and by extent um, we offer support to the development of young footballers across the Caribbean.